Welcome back to another episode of Friends with Billy podcast, formerly known as Friends with Benefits podcast, but now known as Friends with Billy podcast, all things relationship. I am your host, Billy G. Williams, and I'm joined by my super friends. We got the alpha male everyone loves to hate. We got Biggs the philosopher. Came out of the teddy bear, so made me turn grizzly. All right, all right. And then we got our beloved queen mother of the earth queen mother of the podcast uh she took last episode off but she's back with a vengeance we got the lovely we got the beautiful we got the oh so intelligent dr b the sexy nerd hey hey everybody all right all right we got a friend of the show uh he came on with us for the first episode for this season but he's back for uh this is episode 33 so he's back with us uh we got my boy uh, Miami's finest uh, adult perf- performer, a content creator, porn star, uh, making your woman bust a nut one one video at a time. We got the hey, hey. the oh so lovely Magic Montana. What's up, King? You're going out, people. Yeah, I kind of stumbled for a second, but I'm trying to get my bars yeah. together. Trying to get my bars mm-hmm. together. I'm glad mm-hmm. to be back. I mean, yes, sir. I told you I was going to gonna get you back on. I told you. I said, I, oh. that's only worry about it, bro. I always yeah. call you for the right type of topic. So this topic today, I think, is perfect. Table mm-hmm. fit for you. All right. So um, as I do every week when I'm trying to plan an episode and figure out what we're going to talk about, um, I'm surfing the internet, I'm in DMs, I'm doing all these things. And something told me just to hold off until the last minute because I try to get the the show notes to the uh, other cast members like on a Friday so they have time to really look over it and process it. But I said, let me just hold out until like Saturday night and see what's going on. And then this interesting video stumbled onto my Instagram feed. It's from a um, really popular TikToker uh, by the name of, I I believe her name is Mandy. I forget what the last name is, uh, Mandy. And her video went viral because she talked about how she uh, allows her husband to sleep with her mom and with her sister. Apparently they're a swinging type of family, swinger type of deal. And uh, that's what we're gonna start the show off with today. So we started with the video where Mandy kind of broke everything down on you know how everything operates. And um, as you could imagine, people were not happy about that. It kind of confused. Yeah. So uh, let's get the conversation started. 
So since Dr. B said we missed you last week, I'm gonna go to you first on this one. So, oh you, hell. I'm sorry, Dr. Shit. B. I'm sorry, baby. Right. We gotta we gotta whip you right back into shape, man. We gotta put you back out there. We gotta get Come you back out there. What's up? So um swinging, the swinging lifestyle. Give mm -hmm. us just your brief summary of how the swinging lifestyle works. All right, a little history of swinging came out of uh, World War II. It actually started in the military or from the military vibe. It used to be called wife swapping. Um, mm -hmm. There is some debate as to the origins of it because, of course, this is a subject that's not widely researched. But back in those days, well, fire uh, pilots at that time had a low life expectancy. So mm -hmm. in order for their wives to be taken care of financially, what they would do before they would deploy to war, they would do this wife swapping, which was a, a way to kind of build a sense of community and for the wives, the widows, to have a sense of family and mm -hmm. to bear um, children for to, to carry on the lineage for like the land. So that's where okay. swinging hey. originated from. Today, it has... Yeah, been. what the fuck is going on in this version of it? Today, oh we... You know what? Anything that we label as open, then it has to be swinging. Swinging is a part of non-monogamy. It's a part of an open relationship. But the video to me is not what swinging is about. And it makes my job harder because then I have to educate people. That's not what it right. looks like. You right, know what right. I'm saying? That's not what it, a lot of things are going to go. I don't know what's going on in that family. I don't, whatever. That's not swinging. That is okay. a daughter is allowing her mom or her husband to smash her mom and her sister. And, and, a, not and a sister. And, and, and a sister. sister. And a sister too. Said, That's sheesh. not swinging. And if you ever encounter a swinging couple, please don't use that video as your mm. source of education. That's not mm. what it is. All right, all right. And let me go to you, Mr. Magic. Man. Mr. Magic, because you, 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 you're you the other sex expert here, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we all watch porn. I've seen plenty of porn videos where that whole like kind of deal is like popular like mom and daughter oh. with the boyfriend and um daddy my stepdaddy and the daughter and the mom mm -hmm. like i've seen this type of porno plenty of times so um mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you magic so when you see stuff like this that's quote unquote you know um viral moments or whatever you want to call it um and you really being in the business like what's your um take on when you start seeing stuff like that giving up these false information I mean, personally, I think I'm wearing the wrong head covering because I need a cap because I think they lying like a motherfucker. Like personally, I think that's what I heard. I think I think Shorty yeah. Kevin. That's what I, I heard. I think that's I, that's number one. I think the first actually I might fuck around and get some backlash. But the first thing I thought is like that's the whitest shit I ever seen in my life. That's the first <laughs> thing that I thought. But then the second thing was like, boy, y'all lying, y'all motherfucking ass off. Either that. <laughs> Or I'm gonna go to the third and the final was like, if that's really the lifestyle that they live in, mm -hmm. I don't think it's the daughter for real, for real. That shit started with their mother or their grandma, like mm -hmm. the whole family in on it. There's no way just that one chick converted all of y'all into swingers. Okay. There's okay. Three generations of vaginas <laughs> all on her husband. <laughs> There's She's, no way in hell that one. She want to help you to sample everybody. She 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 want to help you to know and, and she come from. She come from good. Everybody was you cool know. with it. Like right, her, right. You know what I'm saying? That's like, literally like a rope corner. Like a rope corner works like that. It's like it's like yeah. Like mom like, like, come on, bro. Like right. and they. I and, hold and it back. Porn, we thought of a porno when I see that. I said, yeah, in porn they call that taboo. Any family related stuff that you're not supposed to do, but they do it all the fucking time. They call it taboo. But it's mm -hmm. like, boy, get the fuck out of here. Y'all niggas lying. Like, mm -hmm. that that's like, come on, bro. Look what they yeah. do for views. But that shit is working. Because as you can see, yep. we talking about it right now. So, okay. <laughs> that. so, so, so it's funny that you marketing. say that. It's funny that you say that. Fucking marketing. Now, that actual video, that actual TikTok video, because that's what we're talking about. The name of this episode is Make It Make Sense. Right? Make it make mm. sense here and make oh, well, sense It make here. perfect sense then if right? you're talking about that. And genius. that that actual video got 7.9 million views on TikTok. 7.9 oh. million views. Mm. And I remember the last time you was on Magic, we were talking about the comments. And even when I watch porn or any videos I watch online, I go straight to the comments before I even watch the video. 
sort of get some context of what's going on. That's the wrong and thing to do. <laughs> those types of videos, like people like shit like that. People like to see shit yeah. like that. But um, that particular video got a lot of a lot of got, got a lot of negativity. But I've read plenty of comments on videos similar to that where people were encouraging that kind of behavior. I just thought it was, thought it was kind of weird, but I thought it was cool to start the show off talking about that. So I got this from a website, um, indie100.com. And it kind of talks about the same story. And it says, and uh, the daughter, her name is Maddie. I forget the last name. Uh, it says, despite Maddie being married, she and her mother both swing and will often switch partners at events, which I thought was weird as well. I'm not going to a swinger party with my mother. I'm just not doing that. But um, oh. it says, me and my mom are both swingers and it's great. You know why? Because when I'm not in the mood, I could just let my husband have her. She said in one video before she added, yeah, I'm that kind of wife. Maddie continued on to say in another video that she allows her husband to have her mom a few times a week. If her husband isn't satisfied by the experience, then she'll sometimes let her sister play with him as well. So, so let's go back to the whole swinging thing, right? Uh, Magic, oh, have you ever shit. done swinging in your past? Have you ever, have you ever been into that? Mm -hmm. I had a, um, well, I guess you wouldn't say it swinging but i've dated somebody who was in the industry um mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying as a sex worker so mm -hmm. it's kind of when for me it was like okay well that's work go ahead do your thing i'm gonna go right. fucking find some business to get to have you know what i'm talking about right. like it, it wasn't um it wasn't like that but like i said that just pointed it out if her and her mom are both swingers like i said that's some generational shit. your mama was home before you got into this mm -hmm. and like you just the second coming of that so right. if her mother's the a remix. swinger as well <laughs> it make right the remit it make most sense mm -hmm. like okay if your mama a swinger she doing dicks anyway like she gonna find hers anyway and you're a swinger too mm -hmm. the only difference is you can't fuck your daddy i right. hope not so yeah, I mean that's why it would be. We, we, you know we'll save that conversation for another day. Yeah, like I'm gonna <laughs> give her the benefit of the doubt on that. But you know, yeah. it would make sense if you and your mother are swingers. So that's weird. Where your damn daddy at? Now that I right, thought about exactly. it. Exactly. I was gonna say, in order to swing, you she got the mother have to have a partner. That's not. Yeah. yeah otherwise, you just gonna let your free other. flag fly. That's <laughs> so hold on. Let's right. bring let's bring Bigs in on this one. So Bigs, are you uh, sure? have you ever? Are you sure? Yeah, on, yeah. I'm 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 pretty positive. Have, okay. Have have you ever been um propositioned to in, in engage into a swinger party or lifestyle or someone that's into that? Have you ever been Several propositioned? Times. Several times. Have, have did, did you ever partake in it? <laughs> no. It's okay. messy. It's I've been messy, to two right? I've been to two. I've been to two parties. It was it's messy. For me, it's it was messy. too much for me. That, that's much. what I'm saying. Like it. First of all, my tolerance and my threshold, if something is messy for me, that shit is beyond reproach. Because I'm pretty much, I'm, Ma, I'm pretty much in the scope of things. There's only certain things you can't really do that I'm gonna be like, like the commercial that is frowned upon when it comes to bigs. There's only right. certain things. So if you say something, you put stuff out there and I'm reading the land and I'm like, nah, that means I already know that once I go down this rabbit hole, literally and figuratively, <laughs> it's going to be all bad. It's going right. to be all bad. Like, I, I can't do it. I, there's too much emotion. It's too much feeling. No, we're not going to do it. for everybody. That's what I'm saying. No, I've, like, been no, to, I, I've been I to two parties. Up. I can't do that. I can't do it. Yeah, I've been to two parties. It was a um, OG of mine from the, from the hood back in the days. And he'd been, in, he been into swinging from like... Uh, Probably from like the 90s like he was way ahead of the curve so um coincidental this is when we was working at a college together bigs um my boy I was driving for sanitation at the time yeah yeah he was driving for sanitation yeah. at the time and he was going to a party and he was like yo do you want to go to this party room? and he was telling me what it, what it was i was like nah bro I'm, I'm good then i ran into him maybe like a month later in a club um we in the club we chilling he was like, yeah, I'm about to go to a party like right now. Do you do you want to go? So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll through with him. So when I went to the party, this is my first experience with the swinging. And look at Dr. V. She just, she, she just waiting. So when I get in there, I didn't know what to expect. Like, I literally didn't know what to expect. I, I felt okay. like a fish out of water when I was in there. And um, 
you know, I see it, 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 it was very well organized. Um, they had a couple of holes that was holes and it was condoms. It was shit to clean, clean yourself. Like it was very well organized. Mm -hmm. But when the That's shit got popping, the shit got popping. It got popping real quick. So when it got popping, I'm just like a fly on the wall. I'm just ob observing. I'm just like, yo, cause I'm seeing like couples in there, I'm seeing singles. I'm seeing same sex couples. I'm seeing all kinds of shit in there. So I was like, wow, this is this a little, little too, uh, too much to me. No, so I had to, I had to bring it back down. That was, that was, that was my number. Right real. There. Yeah, it got real, <laughs> real fast. So I, had to, I had to get my same <laughs> body. <laughs> Some you can't right. eat from every you can't eat from every buffet. Nah, some buffet, that wasn't my cup of tea, man. <laughs> some buffet, not for everybody. Not like, for everybody. Nah. So, uh, where do we think this this viral video ranks all time in terms of viral videos? Because we're talking about stupid viral shit just going stupid. This is something that's really weird, but seven point nine million views is a lot of views. Uh, but guys, yeah, you you can take that one. I, I just want to say this, and I'm going to go, I know Magic said this earlier, but I'm going to go from the aspect that this is real. Like, mm. this is a 100% real situation. Can we, can we give some flowers to the husband? How you orchestrated that lifestyle? Oh, the ain't shitness in me, I salute you, bro, because you just, right. you, you don't even walk around the house with pants. You mm. just like, <laughs> fuck it. Oh, it's hard. Mm. Yeah, come here. Boom. Let's do what we do. Like, it's nothing. It's nothing, mm -hmm. and he's just—he's the one that's the most content. He didn't say shit, not one video. Yeah, right. Was, what he gonna, he gonna say? Gonna get some kisses and hugged up oh. on the mom very, very closely. Mm -hmm. I'm, just saying, I'm not sure if you like follow trends online and shit like that, but where do you think this type of video ranks all time in terms of viral videos? Oh, it's gonna be forgotten about in about it. I mean, they've had a 15 minutes. It's going to be something else that's going to top that. Like, it's mm. not going to last. They got the shock factor. Like, right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, we said, like Magic said, they got the shock factor. They got what they wanted. I didn't think for me where I come from and, and the work I do, it's like videos like this kind of piss me off because you're mm. putting it out there. Like, this is right. what the lifestyle is about. And swingers are very organized, they negotiate. They mm -hmm. ain't bringing a mom to no swinging party. That's like, what I was you know like, what I'm saying? They run me and my mom is cool, but I ain't bringing my mom to no swinger party, man. I'm just you I'm ain't bringing Auntie May May to no damn swinging party. I ain't party. bringing my like, sister. I'm not doing none of that. Your sister, none of that. Your, you, me <laughs> and my sister, the block. Stay your ass in the house. You're not exactly. coming out. Exactly. Talk about. Exactly. I'll tell you like, about I have a hard time home. believing that this is real, but if it is, or for the sake that it is real, they got their 15 minutes of fame, and you know, we move on. Mm -hmm. It's how we work in the world. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to move on. Mm -hmm. All right. So next viral thing that happened this week that I thought was interesting. And it's funny because when we had Magic on the last time, we were talking about uh, Little Nas X. So this trailer came out um, about two days ago of mm -hmm. uh, uh, Little Nas X being on Maury Povey. Maury, can you bring my man out? But we're shocked to discover Jai was married. Me and Jai have been together for about a month and a half. You're a liar. With a child. This might be your baby, Maury. Is Jai the dad? In the case of four year old Noah. Or will Montero get exactly what he wants? Pretty sure we all familiar with Maury Povich, which I still will watch it if it's Maury. nothing on TV. Maury. But um, Maury is officially like the new Jerry Springer. Like, it's just the craziest shit could happen on it. Oh, um, wow. And when I see the new Nas X up there, I'm wow. like, what the fuck? So wow. automatically, I thought because Big brought this point at the last time when we talked about little little, little Nas X that he's a marketing genius. He know how to get people talking. He know how to do the craziest shit and get people talking. So let's go to Big on this one. First reaction when you heard about little Nas X going on Maury in, hey. a, in a lovers' quarrel. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's the same guy from from his video. Mm -hmm. The video that's played, the song that's playing in the background, "Someone in Love" uh, or whatever the name of that song is. That's the same guy from the video. I work Hi. in an all men's gay lounge nightclub. Mm -hmm. I do security there. They play this man's videos. I've seen all his videos like I like I bought the track. I might as well I might as well go to iTunes and buy the album because I know all the words. I've seen <laughs> the guy. As soon as I seen the video clip, I was like, oh, that's the dude in the football jersey. So hold on. So Little Nas X is in heavy rotation in the gay club, Bruh. He's like, what? he's like, 
He's like fucking he's like Michael Jackson. Like they, they only play like they only play like four or five guys in rotation. It's all Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. I am every mm. woman. It's Ariana Grande. I thought it's it was it's, it's raining Gaga. men. I thought maybe that one was playing. Uh, I'm crazy. in a little. I'm, I'm a. My club is a little more melanin deficient. Okay, gotcha. Ooh. So very sparingly we go to that old video, but it's mm. mostly like Ariana Grande, Mariah Carey. Okay. Okay. The divas. So now when it gets to the guys, melanin deficient. I yeah. mean, oh. I, get of, I get a lot of hate comments in the feed. I'm trying to be nice, even though I don't yeah. give a fuck either way. But I'm trying. The bigs and went podcast platinum like three times already. They're like, yo, he's a jerk. He's if arrogant. I, he's a jerk. Like, they fucking hate Let me take this time. People, if I piss you off, you're welcome. Okay, now now we got that out of the way. Um, They play him. There's another dude named Todrick where, like, you know, the whole play with Todrick Hall. <laughs> You know, I'm a music. Yeah, yeah, that guy. And his video is the I funniest shit and everything. Who is when this I guy? Shit. Yo, he plays my nails, hair, shit, and they do the whole video. Like, once you get past the content of what it is, it's actually dope choreography, a dope video. I'll be laughing mm-hmm. every time it comes on because he be doing his thing. And now, you know me, I, I'm, I'm behind the scenes. So I'm looking at how everybody goes. And everybody at that moment when he's playing, has their own little freaking sashay step show mm-hmm. right there. And I'm just laughing. I'm sitting on the wall just laughing at this whole scenario because they're just having the utmost fun. But that's what I'm saying. Like, so not to get back on track. There's only right. like four or five guys that get played in the club. Mm-hmm. Right? I know oh. four of his songs. Right. Right now. It's it's that one. It's the one with him and um and, and 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 the white boy rapper from Louis Louisville, Jack Harlow, Jack, yeah. Jack Harlow, mm-hmm. like it's it's the, the man got some hits. But like I said before, on your first on the, on the first episode when we had Magic before, he is mm-hmm. a marketing genius. Good, right. bad, or indifferent, you're going to talk about him. That generates that moves the needle. That's what he wants. Right, he's right. winning. Right, and let me go to Magic again. Um, Clout chasing and. Attempting to go viral. What's the difference between the two? I I just first off, I hate the term clout chasing. I don't yeah, know they definitely ran that shit around. Right. Because niggas don't even know what clout the word clout used to actually mean. Like, well, you got some pull. Like you're right. you got some actual say so. Like if you got some got some drug dealers that ran shit got clout. They say something, it happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't chase clout bro you have mm-hmm. to earn that more times than mm-hmm. not. anyway that's from another life and <laughs> like, as far as clout chasing <laughs> that shit is, is is goofy it's played out to me people it's like a drug it. man it's i guess but i definitely agree with dr b that shit is gonna be over with like the only thing it's a, that's a crack high for real for real she got mm-hmm. that she, a like crack said, high it, it went up it, she hit the needle hard but then the next thing is what now what you gonna do after that you yeah. got the attention yeah. from that and that's going you know have its little residual and it's fall out because it's still people mm-hmm. catching on to it right, so that, right. might, that might hit 10 mil right. but the thing is after that who you gonna be who are you mm-hmm. now you mm-hmm. gonna have to be the swinger family and y'all gonna have to keep mm-hmm. this shit up forever so i hope that they telling the truth Right, but right. I'm sorry. What's the question? <laughs> you said that would be a good reality show, though. You answered perfectly. That shit would be a good reality show, though. That will that will definitely get a reality right. show there. Yeah, you would have to. Oh. That's what I'm saying. She has to now. That's the only. And if that's the by design, then shout out mm-hmm. to Shorty. She that's a grand slam. Well, and well, wait, the, hold mom, on. the mother, the sister. Yeah. yeah, that's three bases loaded. She sent that bitch home. That's a grand slam for her if she can yeah. do that. So the mother that, like, ready for the action though. The mother, the mother is the <laughs> big, real one. Big That's still think about the mother. The, the because, the one. because because if I'm gonna do anything with any of those three shit, it would be the mother. But the mother is backlash. Like, they don't I mean, think about that. Don't she, she don't care about backlash. She's thinking 9. about backshots. She ain't thinking about backlash. Mm-hmm. She's thinking about backshots. She don't care Are about you, no backlash. She don't look, care about no The crazy backlash. part. The crazy part about it. Or it's not even crazy at this point because they say all publicity is good publicity. Good publicity so yeah. 
and I wanted to, uh, Billy was talking about how the, the taboo situation in porn. People love that category. They love anything yeah. forbidden that they're not supposed to fuck with as long as it doesn't actually touch their reality. And Fact. porn, motherfuckers love it because they know that this is fake. They know that this is orchestrated. It's fun Absolutely. to dream, all of that good shit. But as soon yep. as this, your next door neighbor is really doing this shit, and it might affect your kids one day. Like now, it's a fucking problem. Now you're gonna see all mm -hmm. of the comments oh. coming. This is so wrong on so many levels. Why? I bet you you got stepmother porn in your motherfucking recent wife. I, right I see them all the time. I'll be watching them. I see them exactly. all the time. Got That's the weirdest shit ever in their porn history. But if you see a chick who say she really about that life, and now it's so morally, you get on your moral high horse, and it's like, nah, it mm. don't quite work like that. But mm -hmm. that. If it's real, then I mean, hey, to each his own shit. It ain't. I just think they mm -hmm. fucking lying, but I think it's a wonderful, masterful job. Like if she was clout mm -hmm. chasing, that bitch got her track shoes on because she's chasing <laughs> clout with her back. Like she a whole track. Like, yeah, she got her flojo shit right. Cause that was mm -hmm. that's crazy right there. So yeah. shout out to them for it. And his little uh, eyes X. I wanna say this because I know the last time I seen to not be able to avoid this nigga ever. <laughs> Listen, I well y'all I'm I'm more active on Twitter. I recently discovered all of this nigga's videos. Like I you know, I always caught mm -hmm. or saw people talking about the backlash from the last video with him doing mm -hmm. stripper shit and other videos and it's like this nigga is a genius and I am yeah. in full support of Lil Nas X. Fact. This nigga's one of my favorite artists right now and it's not mm -hmm. even for the music, it's for the fact that, that has nothing to do with the music. His music is fire. Don't get me wrong. It is. I got the album yeah. and listened to it on a flight, and I was like, "This nigga's actually got some, got some shit." Like, right. the whole album. <laughs> but it's like his videos. I love the nigga's videos because it's it's almost sarcastic how in your face this shit is. Like that video with Jack Harlow. I was laughing the whole. Well, time. I haven't seen like, that, so I'm gonna have to check it out. Mm -hmm. They have. They have they have choreo. Mm -hmm. They have choreo. Listen, this is this is Yo, the to video. They have the choreo. Wow, uh, the, the, the whole video wild. is the whole Jack Har Hollow video is these niggas is in the state pen. These niggas is in the yard. They in prison. He has a choreography <laughs> scene where niggas is dancing, but naked, ass in the naked in the showers. In the shower. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out today. I'm gonna check that out today. But they, but they, like, if but they it was hitting the mouth, they doing the fucking shit. If it was girls, you would be like, this looks Blood like the body parts. But, they fucking going but it's bro. dudes going crazy. I'm talking about twerking and splitting. Do like it's bro. like you got a, a squad full of chicks behind mm -hmm. them, but it's dudes yeah. butt naked in the shower. It looks it look like a fucking wild B video, but it's all dudes. Listen, listen, exactly. Listen. Hold on, 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 hold on. The nigga walking down the cell, got the niggas holding his pockets. I'm like, hold on, hold on. The nigga hold on. The nigga took out, he took out the pockets on both sides and had the niggas holding pockets. I'm like, they going in all the nigga Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo. Let's get a little more serious now. Let's, let's, let's get a little more serious. I'm going to come back to Dr. B. So, Dr. B, with this whole infatuation with going viral and cloud chasing and all that stuff, where do we draw the line from its genius marketing to addictive like behaviors and stuff like that? How, where, where do we draw the line with that? Listen, I think we, we're kind of past that. We live in an addictive type of world. The moment the internet hit, and we really didn't understand the impact of the internet like we do today. So everybody likes, likes to throw off the word narcissist or narcissism and we use it wildly, but it is like narcissistic traits, but we all do it, right? We, we, we all post that selfie and want to see us on vacations and trips and stuff like that. I and definitely so been we, checking we, my views. I definitely we've do. All, we've all done it, right? Even on this podcast, how many views we're going to get from this podcast, right? It can be labeled as a form of like, what are we really getting out of it? True word of narcissism is like the the like the over sense of admiration for oneself, right? Mm -hmm. But the the form of it, the underlying issue is really like a low self esteem. And so, hey. with Little Nas X, I see what he's doing. He's a performer. He wants to put it out there. You know, you know, somebody that's mad. Like you want to make people mad. I'm a really want to show y'all how y'all gonna be really mad at me. 
for this, and I think that's what he does. If you want to be mad, and the more y'all hate on me, the more I'm going to give y'all stuff that y'all don't like. And he just, mm. he puts it out there. I think the public gets upset because he came from Old Time Row, where, you know, all the little kids were singing it, mm -hmm. to now mm -hmm. to this quote-unquote villain. But he doesn't, and we're still talking about him in November mm -hmm. and coming up on December 2021. So obviously he's doing his job. Obviously he's making his haters mad. You know what I'm saying? Let him shine. But I think the whole thing about narcissism, we, we all have a, a sprinkle of it. I know I've mm -hmm. done it. Baby, mm. when I lost that weight, honey, you couldn't listen, stop me from taking a selfie. Listen, hold on. When Dr. On D it. was on her workout shit, she was she it. was posting hard. She was she was, she was showing that thing Damn. off. She was not playing. Damn. Damn. I'm, I'm, Everything. I'm on, I'm on my grind right now for six months. In six months, it's going to be all 50 Cent videos. All white beaters. Mm. <laughs> all <laughs> on purpose. Get the get ready. Get ready, video, it's over. Yeah. As hard as I'm playing and banging it back in the back, oh, get ready, it's over. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got this little article, and uh, it talks about how social media can affect your mental health. Now, in my line of work that I that I do on my daytime job, <laughs> I've been noticing this a lot with the <laughs> your magic is crazy. I've been noticing this with a, with a lot of young people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been noticing this with a lot of young people that it's really having a negative effect on young people because it's Absolutely. contributing to a lot of um, like erratic behavior, um, depression. Like I've been seeing this, like it's like okay. rampant, right? So that's, that's the reason why I wanted to do the topic today. So this article is from uh, MontereBehavioralHealth.com and it talks about six signs that kind of highlights when social media is affecting your mental health. All right, so it's, it's a little write up, and I'll go into the six, and then we're gonna fade this episode out. So it says young adults and millennials are often bombarded with images and videos of influencers who appear to be living picture perfect lives. Mm -hmm. They fail to realize that presenting these perfect images is how these people make money and develop unrealistic expe expectations of what happiness should look like. When their own lives oh. fall short, they may experience loneliness and depression. So I thought that little write-up right there kind of nailed it like perfectly. Um, that stuff be showing the internet, as we all know, because we lived in a world without the internet at one time, that mm -hmm. for the most part is entertainment, is capping, clout chasing, whatever fucking title you wanna you wanna call it. So we we have the ability to disconnect from that and realize that this is just some internet bullshit. Mm -hmm. But this younger generation. This is their whole existence. That's all they know. Is, is, is centered around it. So I thought it was important just to talk about that. Um, give me a take on that, Magic, because I, I, oh, I know I hit a nerve. So give me give me a take on that. Get you. I'm, I'm the, I don't, even, I don't know. I might be over with by the end of this one. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess. I'll make sure edit it up, man. Don't even worry about it. No, nah, fuck it, because somebody need to hear. For me. <laughs> The thing that, that struck the nerve was the mental health thing. Like I am for mental health, you know what I'm saying? But the way that people lean on it as a crutch, I feel like mm. now is kind of like, all right, come on, bro. Like that you can tell who never went through no shit for real, for right. real. Like shout out to the people who have and actually have mental health battles. Like that's a mm -hmm. real thing. Right. But the way that people use it, and I, you see it more on social media, people talking about their mental health and all of that mm -hmm. shit it's kind of like bro sit down because if somebody really dealing with some shit right now you're yeah. not you just I don't, having a I your picture ain't get enough likes get the fuck out of here oh, like nigga, right. i had to go outside and have that was my social media like people mm -hmm. outside i had to go mm -hmm. people had to see my fucking outfit to like my outfit because right. i was outside I, mm -hmm. I it's, it's a different whole thing to me but mm -hmm. Like, I almost, I forgot the fucking question again, because that shit just irks me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We'll, we'll wait back. One, it's okay. No, nah, just one more. Just ask me one more time. Come on. Bring no, no, no. It, it, it's, <laughs> nah. Like, nah, it, it's okay. all good. We gotta, we gotta uh, move on to the, to the. Yeah, um, go get the, somebody. The six signs. Just, uh. All right. So this is six signs that you, that social media is affecting your mental health. So the first one, it talks about constant feelings of inadequacy. So feeling like you aren't enough particularly around body image and success factors. Um, I'll, I can say to that something 
social media related that does bother me. Um, how can I say? I guess if I see, you know, my people's out there having a vacation or some of some of some shit like that, and I can't be on the trip, I might feel some type of way, but I'm not gonna hate all my oh. friends, but you know, I might like be wishing out the bit. You, you know what I'm saying? To come. You chose not to yeah. you have phone call. Like that type of shit. But I could imagine for a younger person, it's probably a whole different experience for uh, a younger person. It's a different perspective. It's a different, it really is a different time, right? We had magazines and like Maggie said, we had to go outside. We had the magazines, right? We had TV. We didn't have all of this, but when it's coming to you fast and quick and it's ever changing, like even as a woman, you see in, in Instagram models, right? And then mm-hmm. you talk to a dude and he really, you talk to him and he's really like into that. Like your body is supposed to be perfect. Like people really think the human mind is so strong, but the human mind is very fragile. I and when you're flooding that. it with images on top of in, images, images like 24 seven, seven days a week, like over and over again, a lot of times people, even the strongest people start believing that that's true. So I get it and I and I agree. There are a lot of people who use mental illness and they use it and and they use it because they want to belong, right? We have mm-hmm. a lot of talk about mental illness. And then there's mm-hmm. others who don't talk about it, who struggle with it a lot. You know what they I'm saying? And it takes away from the people who are really struggling because it looks like or appears to that they're doing something. So what I'm saying is you I don't oh. give a damn how strong you are. You this is why dudes that we know back in the day. When they get interrogated by the police, they sign those confessions. If you keep mm-hmm. telling a, a person, I did it, you did it, you did it, or you stupid, you stupid, or a woman look like this, then after a while, oh, I don't wow, they start to believe you it. Mm-hmm. you're going to start to believe it. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I get both sides of it, but there's a side of it, like even with my kids, they don't know pre-internet. So to them, mm-hmm. all of that is real. They they said something, I said something, I'm about to hit the gym. Well, mom, you don't got to be fat phobic about yourself. And I was like, what? And yeah, I really that's like, like a new one out there now. The fat again. We're going to do that as a topic, too. We're going to do that as a topic. We're going to do that. No, kids. no, man. You know Listen, hold, hold like, on, bro. We're going to do that as a topic, real. though. Trust me. I'm going to break it. it on but, they, but because they on TikTok and they hear it all the time, and then and so I had to really break it down to them. Like, listen, y'all, I know y'all like TikTok, but we don't have to take TikTok away because y'all starting mm-hmm. to believe. Yeah. TikTok over mommy, and I'm not trying right. to hear that. Like, right. let me sit y'all down and tell y'all the real deal or wh- what it really is. So, I got that's the way I think about it. Biggs, you I had a Baptist thing up. Yeah, up, let's 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 go to Biggs on the um, on the next one. You got the church family. Right? So, yeah, the second like, one it says feelings of isolation. So it says spending more time on social media platforms rather than mm-hmm. spending time in the real world. See, I was I was I was ready for you, bro. <laughs> it all goes together. With, it all goes together with the church finger. Mm. Everything, everything Doctor B said, I agree with hundred percent. I would like to pin on to that, and it goes into this topic right here. Can we bring into the serious seriousness of when the government started implementing that you couldn't discipline mm. and rear your children, and the mm. fact that you have to be a yes man to your kids for the most part? So the first time they hear no or rejection is online. They're not built for, oh. for taking rejection. Mm. Like you could you could tell one of us, no, we're good. We heard no a thousand times. We had to mm. argue with our parents a thousand times just to get some penny candies from the store. We nah. got told no with the kids we was playing with that was our friends, but they was assholes when we was growing up, but those was the only friends we had. Cause mm. that's the only time we get to go outside and they were the only ones outside. So you heard rejection, you heard ridicule. We, we had snapping sessions. You got roasted. You went over. It mm-hmm. built your character. So you was used to when when you get older and someone mm-hmm. tells you, no, you can't have a fucking Snickers, you don't mm-hmm. jump off the fucking building. Right. Yeah. And it's important. It's important to understand that because when you're not used to hearing no, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, I, and I get this a lot. From, from my job, I, I, I like I said, I, I do nightclub security, I, I do bodyguard work. When I'm doing a nightclub and I have to tell some some people you're not good to come in, mm. the fight that I have to have with these people mm. about you not coming in, and they was like, oh, well, I'm gonna call the cops and let me speak to your manager. No, you're not speaking to my manager. I'm here so you don't speak to the manager. The manager right. hears everything you're saying, he sees you on camera. He doesn't want to fucking be bothered with you. 
Right. We have in New York where you have to be vaccinated and you have to have physical ID to prove it. Mm-hmm. You can't come in. If you don't have it, you telling me you're vaccinated means absolutely nothing. Go home and get your vaccination or just go home. You're not coming in. Oh, but you got to have an argument with all this because you're not built to hear no. Anytime someone tells you no, it's disrespect as opposed to it's fucking no. No means no. (laughs) No means no. Boundary. And I just would like... Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. on. Have a good day. Right. No, bro. No. And just to... I just want to touch on something they both said real quick. And yeah. I agree with a hundred. I agree with both of y'all a hundred percent. Is I think the biggest thing is a lack of actual identity. It's like mm-hmm. they think who they are should be on the internet, and then if that doesn't have a high value, then who they actually are doesn't matter. I think we were mm-hmm. wired the other way around. It's right. like we want to post the shit we doing on the internet because nigga, this is who I am in real life. So now right. I'm showing it all. Right. It's the other way around for them. It's like if I'm not yeah. this person on the internet, then who am I? Then I don't have right. that mm. value. Then I think that's where a lot of that depression or yeah. loneliness or whatever, because it's like, okay, well, yeah. all of these people not liking my picture, so I must not be nobody. And we're the mm-hmm. other way around. And I'm the like, person before. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I'm gonna show right. I am somebody for real. So y'all need to see this shit. And so it's right. just coming. Mm-hmm. It's we're wired the other way around. So that's yeah. probably where that come from. Yeah. So let's go yeah. to the third one. We talked about cyberbullying, right? To kind of piggyback on what Magic's talk, talk, talking about. Cause I've I've heard that from young people before. Oh, I posted a picture. It didn't get a lot of likes, you know, all that stuff, right? So it's a cyberbullying. Engaging in cyberbullying or being the victim of cyberbullying is one of the worst effects of social media. So I just seen a um, story the other day. This was, uh, uh, I think she was 10 and autistic and she completed suicide because she was getting bullied, yeah. right? Yeah. Through social media. Yeah. And, you know, <laughs> In my line of work, man, I talk to kids every day and their and their obsession with that internet and with that social media and that uh gratification is 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 literally like sickening to watch because the parents are the one that's having a hard time with these kids. And then you're seeing stuff like suicide rates are going up like tremendously with young people because of this um thing with social media. And then the next one talks about FOMO which is an acronym of fear of missing fear out. Fear of missing out. It says feeling like your life isn't enough, often leading to anxiety and happiness. Bad. Okay. So Dr. B, take that mm-hmm. one for us. And then we got one more to go after that. Well, I would, the biggest human motivator is to belong to the group, right? That's fear of missing out. But cyberbullying is is real, right? Mm-hmm. For me, I'm, I'm a street girl. You can't even, in my family, if you say the wrong thing to me, I'm fighting. Yeah. Now imagine that times 10, right? Imagine mm-hmm. someone hates me. And these, let me tell you, these kids are cruel. These yeah. kids are cruel. They, I hope you die. I hope you do this. I hope you do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like these kids are cruel. And when you're getting that times 10 and people are joining in, unfortunately it leads to things that we really, really need to stop because our young babies are being affected by it. Mm-hmm. You know I, mean? I know some adults who unfortunately have completed suicide because of cyberbullying or, mm-hmm. and all of it is just shame. Shame is a public mm-hmm. emotion, right? And so for me, like I, you know, even family business, I don't like, why are you putting that on Facebook? Like, don't call me up, like call me up, text me, like talk mm-hmm. to me, but people are not doing that. People want to shame you. People want to put it out on the internet. And unfortunately it's the parents that need to teach their kids and really talk to them about like when you do this, this is this can be the effect of it. If you join in with your friends because you don't want to get bullied, you may be a part of ending somebody's life. So to me, it's real. And people don't have a fear of missing out. But then I ask, like, what you really missing out on? Do you know how much hard work it takes to do this podcast? All this yeah. research and stuff? Or even what Magic does? Like, why are you hating on him? Do you know how much preparation? Do you know how much preparation Big's got to do? you know how much preparation I have to do? So it mm-hmm. looks easy it looks like you're missing out on something but you, just me, need you are problem. not missing out on nothing mm-hmm. live your life <laughs> mm-hmm. and then the next one it talks about obsession it says turning down other invitations and activities in favor of spending time on social media platforms 
I, I'm definitely not going to miss out on my boy birthday party or a baby shower just to fucking be on social media. But yeah. I know with the young generation, that's really like a thing. They'd rather do that than spend family time and, you know, go outdoors and shit like that. Because they get to hide behind that persona that they've created on social media to, uh, to Magic's point. And then the last one, um, Dr. B, you kind of touched on it earlier, narcissism. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it says overwhelming need to share photos of yourself and feeling like life events are meaningless if you don't share on online. It says millennials are on social sites even more and tend to use several sites beyond uh, Facebook. They often use the platforms in ways that are similar to their parents and grandparents. Millennials are more likely to use these sites for networking and dating purposes. They often use these platforms to find groups with similar situations or like-minded beliefs. So Dr. B was dead on as usual that um, belonging to the group is like the number one motivator. And um, yeah, social media, man. Uh, I love it. And and, 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 and and it's funny that we're talking about this because I've learned how to use social media different once I started mm -hmm. the podcast. Prior to the mm -hmm. podcast, I was doing the same shit, both the stupid shit, mm -hmm. selfies, this, that, and the third. But then once I got into the whole podcast thing, trying to promote and network and shit, shit like that, mm -hmm. it's a total different experience for me now. But, you know, I just feel bad for the young people. Yeah. All right. So, Dave. as we're fading this one out, last words. So, we're going we're gonna to let our guests go first. So, last words for the people, Magic. Find your identity, man. Mm. Who, the, who the fuck are you in your own shoes? Not on the phone. Because the thing is, you can turn your phone off. Who are you in your phone when your camera ain't off? That's mm -hmm. who the fuck you should be worried about. You know what I'm saying? Know. Other, you know, love yourself. Love the nigga next to you, man. Period. I love it. Dr. B, last words. You could be social without social media. Get out, turn off the computers, turn off the phones. Reconnect with your friends, do something fun, you know, and live your life. All right, Biggs, last words. Uh, you was born by yourself. You're inevitably going to die by yourself. You don't have to live your life for nobody. Live your life for you and only you. All right, last words from Billy. Tune in next week. Friends with Billy Podcast, all the information shit. You can find it on any platform where you get your podcasts. We on Google Podcasts, we on Spotify, we on iHeart, we on Instagram, we on YouTube, we on Facebook, we on Twitter. I'll let you boy when you see us. Fading this one out till next week. Peace. Peace. Thank y'all.